The first problem, Robin works as a server in a small restaurant where she can earn a tip, extra money, for each customer she serves. The histogram below shows the distribution of her 60 tip amounts for one day of work. Write a few sentences to describe the distribution of tip amounts for the day shown. So when we're describing a distribution, we can use the acronym SOX to help us remember what we need to talk about. We need to talk about shape, outliers, center, and spread. So let's start with um, shape. Also, anytime we can, we want to use the context rather than just describing some generic distribution. So we could say the shape of the distribution of tip amounts is skewed right, which we can clearly see with the tail going to the right. Uh, tip amounts were potentially as low as zero dollars and as high as $22.50. We don't actually know the minimum or maximum values here because it's anywhere from zero to $2.50 in that class or anywhere from $20 to $22.50. But this sentence will adequately describe the spread from zero to maybe 2250. All right, so we've done shape and spread. Um, since our distribution is skewed, the best measure of center would be median. So the tips have a median of somewhere between so let's figure out the median. Since there's 60 tip amounts total, the median is going to be, like if you listed all the tips from lowest to highest, you'll have the 30th tip amount, the 30th <laughs> lowest tip amount, then the 31st lowest tip amount. The median is going to be right here. It's going to be between the 30th and 31st tip amount. So if we look at these, here's the first 25. Here's the next 22. So the median is going to be somewhere between $2.50, which is here, and $5. So the tips have a median of somewhere between $2.50 and $5. If you use the middle of each of these uh, classes, you could actually type this into your calculator and get a pretty good estimate of the, the mean or the median. All right, so that was center. Um, and now we should talk about this outlier. There appears to be one upper outlier, which was a tip between $20 and $22.50. All right. I think part A is done. Part B. One of the tip amounts was $8. So that's somewhere in here. It's one of these four tip amounts. It was $8. If the $8 tip had been $18, what effect would the increase have had on the following statistics? Justify your answer. All right. So the let's refer to uh, the the old mean, which was when the tip was $8, and the new mean. The old mean, or maybe original is a better word. The original mean is the sum of all the tip amounts divided by 60. The new mean is going to be that same sum of all the original amounts plus an additional $10 because it went from eight to $18. But it's still gonna be divided by 60. So the difference between the original mean and the new mean is just that 10 divided by 60. So difference is 0.16 repeating. That's what 10 divided by 60 is. 
So let's see. What effect would the increase have had on the following statistics? The increase will increase the mean by sixteen seventeen cents. All right, how will the median change? Well, the median is actually not going to change at all. If we look, the median is somewhere in this class right here, these 22 values. It's some value between $2.50 and $5. But we know the median is between the 30th and 31st value. So that $8 tip right here, the $8 tip is right here. When we add $10, it's going to shift over to here but it's not going to affect this 30th or 31st value at all. That's all happening way over here. So the median will not change since the 30th and 31st tip amounts when ordered from least to greatest remain unchanged. 